The red ingot is a type of coat that has had several forms over time. The name is derived from a French alteration of the English riding coat, an example of reborrowing. Women's red ingot The first form of the red ingot was in the 18th century, when it was used for travel on horseback. This coat was a bulky, utilitarian garment. It would begin to evolve into a fashionable accessory in the last two decades of the 18th century, when women began wearing a perfectly tailored style of the red ingot, which was inspired by men's fashion of the time. Italian fashion also picked it up, adapting it for more formal occasions. The red ingot a la hussar was trimmed with parallel rows of horizontal braid in the fashion of hussar's uniforms. The style continued to evolve through the late 19th century, until it took a form similar to today's red ingot. The newer form is marked by a close fit at the chest and waist, a belt, and a flare toward the hem. Men's red ingot The men's red ingot was an 18th century or early 19th century long coat or great coat, derived from the country garment with a wide, flat collar called a frock in French. Red ingot is the usual term for a fitted frock coat. The former men's red ingot took could be of the tightly fitting frock coat style, or the more voluminous, loose great coat style, replete with overlapping capes or collars, such as a Garrick red ingot. Gallery. See also, frock coat, Pelis. Notes. References. Cassin Scott, Jack, Costume and Fashion in Color 1760 Euro 1920, Blandford Press, ISBN 0. 7137-0740-2, Payne, Blanche, History of Costume from the Ancient Egyptians to the Twentieth Century, Harper and Row, 1965. No ISBN for this edition. A scene B0006 BMNFS, Tosa, Jane and Sarah Levitt, Fabric of Society, A Century of People and Their Clothes 1770 Euro 1870, Laura Ashley Press. ISBN 0-9508913-0-4, Takeda, Sharon Sadako, and K. Dellen Spilka, Fashioning Fashion, European Dress in Detail, 1700 a Euro 1915, LACMA Prestel US 2010, ISBN 978-3-7913-5062-2. External links Reading got to the San Jose State University 19th Century Paris Project.